we're back. So basically a bullet journal has three different main spreads. There's more that you can do to keep track of things, but these are the three main ones that I use that really work well for me. So you have your future log. You divide your page into blocks of three each side. So that shows um, six months. So I have September, October, November, um, December, January, February. You can start whenever, so it's very flexible. Um, and on your future log, you put like your big events. Like we have a wedding in December that we're gonna go to. Hopefully, <laughs> if we get babysitters, we can go to that. October, I have a blogging conference that I'm going to. So big events, um, big projects, big deadlines you put on your future log. Then if you go through, then you do your monthly log. So you'll go through and do the numbers of the days in the month and then put big events that happens on each day. Um, what I did at the end of the month is I did a little summary of like what worked that month, what didn't work, especially for my blog, um, what things do I want to repeat and do again. And then on the other side is your to-do list for that month. So blog posts that I want to write, um, big tasks that I need to do, that's all here. And that gets filled in also throughout um, the month as you go through. If there's something that you can't do on a particular day, then you log it back into your monthly to-do list. All right, so I'll show you how. So this is how I do my days. And I'll include pictures in the blog post so that you can zoom in nicely. Um, so I divide each page into two. So per day. It's, everybody does it differently. This is what I like to do. Put the day at the top. Then I have my task list down here. Any events that has a different um, symbol. So it's a little circle, a little open circle, if it's an event. <laughs> and then at the end of the day, I do like my thankful list. So there's three or four things that I'm really thankful for that happened that day, I'll include at the bottom. So this kind of keeps that practice of me being grateful and thankful and positive continuously, even though life is busy with two. Um, so at the top, I have my task list. If I don't get to it, that particular day, I can migrate it, so put a little forward arrow, and migrate that task and rewrite it on the next day. If it's important enough to do, it's important enough to take that three seconds and rewrite it for your next day. If you don't want to do it the next day, but you do want to do it that, that month, then do an arrow the other way and migrate it to your monthly to-do list. So either it goes forward, goes backward, or... Yeah. Yeah, I know, it's a puzzle. Or if you don't want to do it at all, or you're not going to do it, cross it off. Don't waste your time doing things that you're not going to do, right? Don't just rewrite your to-do list and then never get to it. Oh, oh. Oh, oh! That's where the wolf lives. Oh, oh! Okay, well, hang up. We gotta get the puzzle out. <laughs> 